What's good everybody, Big C9210 back again. This video is gonna fucking save some of your asses. Seriously, seriously save some of your asses. So in Alpha 15.1 there is a bug which when you die it causes you not to be able to get back in the game. You get what's called the black screen of death. And what happens is, is you just can't get back in the game. It's an absolute fucking nightmare. You end up disconnecting, reconnecting, and every time you come back in the game, it's as if you died. And all the other players can see you're trying to get back in, and you die, and then you leave, and you die. And so far, the only fix for it is to wipe your save data, wipe the player data from the server, and then start again. Which is a fucking nightmare, because you lose all your save data. So, uh, there's a guy here called Azedo, who is an absolute in wizard of life who i was talking to him last night and basically between between us but mainly him he's worked out how to do this he has literally worked out how to do this and then he told me how to do it and then i sat and worked it out uh in my little hex editor and sure enough it works so without any further ado uh you need to get a piece of software called frhed so if we go to google and we type in frhed uh, it brings us up with FRHED, which is a free editor. So that is the first result in Google. I'm not going to insult your intelligence and teach you how to download this version and install it. But yeah, so get that installed. This is what it looks like. So FRHED looks like this. It's a hex editor. You don't know what a hex editor is? Uh, it's like a text editor, but for hex. That's all you need to know. So now that you've got this open, you need to get your save data. So in order to do that, you press the Windows key, you type in percent, app data, percent, unless you've saved your folder somewhere else, and then that's up to you. You need to go and find your world save. So it's in blah, 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 Roman, seven days to die, saves, uh, mines and random gen, then that's the name of the game. So then you want to go into player. Now you need to know the Steam 64 ID of the player who's having this issue. Now, as I'm a little bit of a wizard, and I've practiced this before I came here, this is the player that's experiencing this issue. So what you do is you put your Steam64 ID in here and you have two files. You'll have the TTP and the map file. You ignore the map file, you want the TTP file. So the first thing you want to do is you want to copy this and you want to paste it to your desktop so that you've got a backup copy. So if you do fuck this one up, then at least you can go back to that one. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to open this file in this editor. So we will go file open. And then we'll go back through that chain of three users uh, update. If that update is hidden, if you can't see that update a folder, then you need to unhide the folder, uh, which you can do via control panel. Roman, seven days to die, uh, saves, random gen, and line 96, player. And then we can just put this put his player off oh, for fuck's sake yeah i can just strip that off so we want to open that file so this is what the file looks like when it's open okay now this is confusing as shit okay this is really really confusing as shit this is what makes it easy this little value down here is what makes it easy now the values that we're looking for are here now, obviously, these might be different for you, but this 7, 6, and this 4, 3 are the values that we need to fix this. Now, if you look here, it's 0xb6 and 0xb7. Now, just because I'm a nice guy, I want to write this in a big fucking big font so we can read. So we want to go... I'm just writing this so you guys can see. We are going to get 0xb6 and 0xb7. So in this case, it's 7643 because this is like, these are like cells. You see 0xb6 here and 0xb7 here. And we are going to replace uh, 0x95 and 0x96 with these values. So 0x, you see how it, I'm scrolling through. So 0x96 is here. 
and 0x95 is here. So these four. So what we do is we type in 7643. I'll just write this down here. Uh, so we've just got the zero, uh, the 7643 or whatever numbers you've got, because yours mightn't match mine. And then you replace them here. Zero, and you can see the cell 0x95 and 0x96. All you do is you press file, you save, and that's it. The player can now rejoin the server. And they have not lost any health. They have not lost any stats. And they can get back in the server. Now, I'm going to shout this guy out one more time. If this works for you, you want to be sending this guy some good kudos. Because this guy is a fucking hero. Like I say, we originally started off this with me trying to write... Well, I was going to write a script to uh, fix this for Windows users. Because he'd fixed this in 14.1. And uh, yeah, that is how you fix it. So thank you, Azedo. Thank you very, very, very much indeed. And uh, that's it for this video, guys. Don't forget, if you like this video, leave it a like. If, you, if someone else is experiencing this issue, you best be sharing this video with them. And uh, I'm Big C Name 2 and I'll see you guys next time.